like to pay the elders, both past and present, acknowledging them as the traditional custodians of knowledge for this land. Please type your questions into the QA box that you can see on the top um, menu or the bottom menu. Uh, and you can um, ask questions um, through the QA box. An appropriate staff member from our team will then answer your questions. So in UTS, um, we have different types of planning programs, like two main types. One is the on-campus program. The other one is the online program. So today, what I am talking about is only the on-campus program. So in the on-campus program, there are all together three, three areas, graduate certificate in planning, master of planning, master of property development and planning. So graduate certificate in planning is a pathway when you do not have a bachelor degree. And if you have a credit mark in graduate certificate and planning, that can lead to your enrollment in master of planning and also master of property development and planning. So our both courses, master of planning and master of property development and planning are accredited by Planning Institute of Australia. So these courses are face-to-face -face courses. And especially in a graduate certificate of planning, it's the foundational course. It requires to complete four subjects and the entry is open in autumn and spring. So that means um, each subject is six credit points. So total 24 credit points need to be completed. So if you are studying full-time, it, um, it is only six months, that is one semester. And if it is part-time, it's one, one year. In Master of Planning, uh, the, it is a 1.5 years full-time course and three years part-time course. The um, course has total 12 subjects and each subject is again credit, six credit points. And this course requires completion of 72 credit points. Master of Property Development and Planning are 96 point um, course. So that means 16 subjects and its duration is two years or four years part-time. As I mentioned before, this course is also accredited by Planning Institute of Australia. Now this course, the Master of Property Development and Planning gives you two degrees, the postgraduate degree in property development plus the postgraduate degree in planning. But if you are doing only Master of Planning, that is 1.5 years, but still you can do another degree in Master of Property Development. So that is what is the strength. Our subjects are common in Master of Planning as well as Master of Property Development. So if anyone has completed Master of Property Development can come and do the degree uh, Master of um, Planning and have two degrees. So you get RPL for subjects that are done in property development in planning and also in planning when you are doing, prop if you want to do property development after doing Master of Planning, you get the RPL of the subjects that are completed in Master of Planning. So the planning degrees are very much um, practice-based. So it makes our students work ready. So the planners, the different um, professionals come and teach in these subjects. And uh, especially it provides the courses develop um, a comprehensive approach to planning, what is happening in the real world. And then it develops an understanding of relevance of the context. So in relation to government, governmental decision-making policy, market, social, and environmental, it creates a very close link to the industry because um, the people from industry come and teach in our subjects and we our assessments are very much linked to practice-based work. So the degree also, as I mentioned, that Master of Property Development and planning degree is a joint degree. So the key website information for the uh, 
three degrees are you can find at these links so it's available online and um it requires for the first one the graduate certificate in planning requires a uh, uh, ets recognized uh, academic qualification um so it can be uh, equivalent to a bachelor degree or a graduate certificate graduate diploma or a master's degree but master of planning has some cognate uh, uh, disciplines so that means some particular disciplines if you come from have a bachelor degree in those disciplines then um, the master of planning degree is offered some of these disciplines are architecture landscape architecture urban design and regional planning interior and environmental design community development property economics property development planning geography geographic information science or gis environmental science law and economics so what is very clear here this planning is a multidisciplinary um, course where the people from different um, disciplines come together to work so it is um, very interesting and our students are made of professionals who are already working in the field and also the students who have just come out of finishing their bachelor degree so it creates a very rich environment uh, where the knowledge can be transferred from one person to other and this is um, very uh, interesting to be in the class because it raises a lot of debates a lot of um, contemporary issues, those are very um, useful to discuss and enrich yourself with the knowledge. So similarly, uh, Master of Property Development Planning um, requires, a, requires a bachelor degree, but there is no cognate disciplines. It requires a recognized um, bachelor degree. And um, this, um, all these degrees like Master of Planning and Master of Property Development and Planning can have an alternative pathway to entry from doing graduate certificate in planning or property development or planning and entering these, but you need to have that credit uh, average marks. So if you need more information on this, you can um, go to the website and um, read in detail. And there are course structures, how the courses are done, like. Uh, how many like four subjects you can take if you are doing a full-time position a full-time uh, student position working in a full-time student position um, and then uh, how which sub which uh, subjects you should do in autumn when they are offered so all the details of course structures or preferences everything is there including um, the information on the admission requirements eligibility and other other things so here um, i think i have already covered that so graduate certificate in planning is a recognized bachelor degree or equivalent and an advanced diploma in a relevant discipline um, so like design social science property planning or relevant work experience also and similarly master of planning and master of property development um, as I mentioned. Uh, so there are some commonwealth supported places um, for a master of planning only available to the local students not for the international students. And uh, and the future uh, is that you can work if you finish these degrees you can work in um, the different councils as planners and all the private um, organizations or consultancy firms as planners as um, also as other like other um, areas uh, which relates to planning so the in the how the courses are taught that generally the courses are taught in blocks so which means that you don't have to attend weekly classes you have to really come to the class so for two days say there are different structure of blocks so a subject can be taught in two two full day blocks that means that there are two full days and there are two blocks so totally you have to attend four full days to complete a subject and this and it could be also 2.5 days one block and then 2.5 days another block 
and you complete the subject. This is a very, um, this is a very efficient way because you don't have to come to the campus every week. And especially for the professionals, it's uh, very useful because they can only take four days of leave and they can complete a subject. Um, the subject, the teaching is um, very uh, done in a different way where you don't get bored in the class. So uh, in the class, like there are seminars and then there are lectures, there are workshops. So there is a combination of and group work, individual work. So it's even if you are studying a full day, it's very interesting. And there is a lot of interaction between the teachers and the students and the professionals in the class. I think I have uh, talked about the shared subjects that the subjects we share with Master of Property Development and Master of Planning. So there are subjects which are common in both uh, the courses. So we have very good industry connections. So, and they come and lead uh, and teach in our subjects. So there are online uh, programs. So the online offerings, if you want to know more about it, uh, you should contact the course director, Dr. Gabriela Quintana, and at this link to know more about the um, online subject. So online is totally online and it is different from um, the on-campus subject, but all the subjects are uh, accredited by Planning Institute of Australia. Thank you very much for listening. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer. So I cannot see any questions. Um, So in the chat, you can see all the links that has been included. And Do you have Commonwealth supported places? Yeah. There are very few. Are you a local, local student? Sorry. Sorry, I can't hear. Yes, there are some Commonwealth supported places. I actually cannot hear anything. Hi, Maori. What what question do you have? Uh, I was wondering, what's the latest date I can try to enroll using the Commonwealth Spotted Place? Yeah, that. Um, you have to apply for um, the, but I have to contact the, you can contact the student center because we do not look after that part of the, oh, okay. yeah, okay. so you Sorry. can contact the student center, they give you uh, complete um, uh, the dates when you need to apply, what sort of applications do you need to put in everything. Uh -huh. Is it uh, most usual that people who uh, graduate with a master in planning, uh, that they work at in councils doing development approvals? Is it the most usual uh, professional occupation that people have after they 
graduate in such a course? Yeah, I think the plan, getting the planning positions is the planner's position is very common, but it's not limited to only planning positions in the councils. People have worked in Landcom, they have worked in uh, Department of Planning, so and they also work in different private consultancy firms. So it's not that only councils is the main area. There are different industries the people who come out of Ministry of Planning can work and different okay. organizations. And um, yeah, our students do very well. Uh huh. Yes, because that's um, one of my goals. Because uh, I, I am a planner. Uh, I graduated in architecture and planning in Brazil. It's together. It's a five-year full-time yeah. coursework, mm. and I have worked with architecture and as well with uh, 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 urban planning. Because I've been working in a council in Brazil for three years, and I migrated here. Mm. I arrived like um, a month ago, mm. and I've been um, trying to look for jobs in planning and I have been very unsuccessful. So one of the goals for me is to, to be more prepared to, to work in the, in the area. Yeah. But as well as doing a master degree that I have always uh, wanted to, to do in planning or maybe it's the approach uh, urban design perhaps, but mostly planning. So that's um, my objective. Yeah, I think uh, one question I want to clarify first that if you are an international student, you won't have the opportunity to apply for Commonwealth supported places. Uh, sorry about that, because those are very small number. Of uh, I'm PR, I'm permanent resident. Oh, okay, then you can. Yeah, I just asked you that question. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's very good. And then um, the educational background that you told me, that's perfect for um, for Master of Planning because we get a lot of students uh, come from architecture and then they take planning. In fact, that's a very common pathway. And in Master of Planning, we teach urban design. So um, the subject is... Um, divided into different sort of subjects. As I mentioned that it's a multidisciplinary subject. So you will be teaching economics, you will be learning, but all related to the practical, practical application of that, application of that in So um, it's a very interesting um, Yes, so yes, I guess. Uh, and uh, maybe I'll, I'll, just, I'll just do one more question because I didn't really, uh, um, was a bit loud. I couldn't understand that uh, this course is quite easily to to do while you're working because some some yeah yeah some sometimes you don't have to be on campus. Yeah, no, you have to be on campus sometime. So some courses, but as I mentioned, it is a very um, good good course in the terms of if you are working because many of our students. I, I should say most of our students work, they have family, they have they work. So this yeah. course actually fits in very well with the professionals and the working people because you don't have to come to the university um, every week. And then the two days that you have to come, sometimes it's taught in a hybrid mode, such as like the workshops are on campus, maybe some of the lectures are online. So you can manage that very easily. What I have seen over the years that it has been a very good course for the professionals and it's a very good number of professionals taking up this course. Any other questions? So here on the chat box, you can see applying for a, a link, applying for a PG study to UTS. So this link actually uh, tells you everything about a uh, graduate certificate. Sorry, the um, PG study to UTS. And also you can, um, you can have a one-to-one -one consultation with me, 15 minutes. You can book that if you want to talk to me. Uh, I can explain and can answer all your questions.
Any other questions? No, no for me, no. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. So any other questions that I can answer in this session? I think if this is it for now, um, we can just finish this session. If And if anyone has any other questions, please contact us. We'll be happy to help. OK. Thank you very much, all for coming to this webinar and for your interest.